held this year at CES. It's a revolutionary at-home checkup. It's okay. a four-in-one device, which means that it has the sensors of four mm -hmm. medical products built into one product. So what are the four? A stethoscope, an oximeter, so blood oxygen, mm -hmm. uh, ECG, and a thermometer. Oh, wow, okay. So and it's so nice and tiny. <laughs> you could just put it in your pocket, your exactly. purse, whatever. Yeah. And that was the idea behind the product, to have a product that is small, mm -hmm. easy to use, and uh, easy to use for telehealth purposes. Yeah. Because if you go to your annual appointment, for example, your doctor is going to use a stethoscope to measure your heart sounds, your lung sounds. Mm -hmm. We'll take your temperature as well. He does all of these uh, metrics, but he does them once a year. Yeah. After COVID, telehealth became mm -hmm. talk very of the town. Very, very important. Very yeah. important. Yeah. So having a product that you could use at home to take your health metrics and send it to, let's say, a remote patient monitoring platform that your doctor is using in real time, so he could give you uh, any advice or right. feedback mm -hmm. through video chat is is really valuable. Yeah, I, I know for us, we don't like going out of the house so much, so it's yeah. kind of nice that you do that initial first step, right? Yeah. And if the more needs you no know, follow up or anything, then you could go to the doctor. Yeah, so that's exactly. really cool. Uh, so for steps two and three, we uh, so it's not going to take any of your health metrics. We can't do okay, that yeah. for any products that haven't gone through the FDA for mm -hmm. legal and regulatory reasons. However, we set up a custom. Um, demo mode okay. uh, so people can envision what the product experience would be like if they used it okay so you have to navigate it through uh, the phone and the phone will sync with the the BMO on display and it will tell you what to do so I don't want to say too much I want you to do it okay uh, if we have any tech <laughs> issues we'll figure it out all but, right uh, put on these headphones okay. these headphones you're gonna hear heart sounds at one point okay but let's go start the BMO checkup Okay. There we go. And so the first Step one, one. taking an electrocardiogram uh, and blood oxygen level. Tilt, tilt the device on the right and place your index on the. So you to take an ECG, you use these sensors. So you hold put okay. your left hand like this and your right hand with your index finger on top like that. Okay. And we're gonna launch an ECG measurement. Perfect. And so with BMO, when you take an ECG, it's also taking um, a blood oxygen reading at the same time. Uh, the reason being the SpO2 sensor is embedded in the ECG sensor, so it's like it, in that same location right over here. So exactly, so that's why it's taking uh, both an ECG and SpO2 reading at the same time. Okay. BMO itself, with all the, the health metrics that we have here, um, it will do everything in 60 seconds. Oh, okay, that's quick because everybody's got stuff to do, right? Yeah, everybody's got stuff <laughs> quick to and do. Quick and easy. And uh, you can do it from the comfort of your home, syncs the data via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to the Withings app. You can share the data with your doctor if you want. Yeah. And then, so that's the B2C use case. But then if you have a televisit appointment with your doctor, it's also a tool you can use live during a televisit appointment. Right, right. Okay. All right, so that was step one. Yeah, right. yeah. All right, step I would say two. let's do the stethoscope okay. recording next. Uh, maybe we have to go through the measurement oh, okay. the full way. So keep your fingers there until it's over. And I think then it will prompt us to do uh, the stethoscope right after this. An infrared sensor. We now have the ECG medical grade ECG only. Okay. We have uh, the uh, ability. And again, it's not okay. your actual, these are your right, actual. Right, right. Okay, next one. We're going to do we the uh, stethoscope. So let's activate it. This is the stethoscope, the side of the product. Okay. So we're going to put it next to your heart. And that's what uh, so the user experience would be. We are training okay. our algorithm, uh, but of yeah. course for dark skin tone, I think there's we're having some tech issues. issues. Uh, but so essentially, with the headphones uh, in this step, you would hear. Uh, you would hear. Uh, that's so cool. Or, uh, I wonder if it's gonna go now. I don't think so. I don't think it's singing to the phone. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's a limitation. It doesn't. You don't hear anything, right? That's okay. But essentially, that would be the user experience in the stethoscope. You could also use to measure your lung sounds as well. And then we have the. Yeah, there's a lot of respiratory things going on now. So. Oh, you bet. And then the temperature experience would be you would put it on the thermometer and then scan it. So do you have to touch, or does it just? Oh, I felt it. Vibrate. Up to, I want to say like a centimeter. Okay, so like you can contact, or it would be contact list, but it's only like a little bit off of your forehead. 
vibrate, so I don't know if it's... I, uh, let's try it again. And move it across to your forehead, to your temporal artery. Perfect. That would be the, the temperature it's from. Okay. It's, it's fake, by the way. That, no, it's too low. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's cool. So that's all three steps, right? That would be, yeah, all three steps because it's so a stethoscope that does heart and lung sounds, the temperature, and then the ECG and the SPO2 reading are done at the same time. Right. Yeah, I really like this because, like, you have a bunch of different devices that do these things individually, but it's nice to have it all in one thing. It's very compact. Now, is this going to be on the market soon? Is Our goal is uh, by the end of 2024 or in 2024 sometime, but all of this is dependent. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For us, we always want to launch products as soon as possible, mm -hmm. but uh, we're also bound to following regulatory yeah, guidelines absolutely. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so no idea for like pricing yet or anything like that? Uh, pricing is two forty nine ninety five. Okay, that, that's honestly not too bad for like how many things, like four different things that it does. Honestly, it's a great price. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think so. This is great. Can I give you one more experience? Yes, absolutely. Uh, do you, have you ever watched Star Trek? Yes, we're a big Trekkie and like Star Wars fans, so absolutely. We have a special guest star in this. Oh, do you? Oh, I see. I see. This is a fake telehealth experience. Right. Okay. So again, none of your health metrics are being uh, tracked here. Okay. Uh, but Robert Picardo is playing a, a position in this telehealth simulation <laughs> so he's on video chat over here so he's not who i'm really going to talk to no, I'm oh, not. I'm not. I'm I cool yeah. and then yeah, over here on the right side of the screen uh, you see our whippings remote patient monitoring platform so okay we'll show you how the BMO uh, measurements would, would you would see them on the interface okay the whippings remote patient monitoring okay that's very so uh here put these on because <laughs> his voice is really Really amazing. Oh, he could definitely pass as a doctor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. So then you can have stethoscope here, put it that way, and you start the recording. Sleep when I get home. Nice. So you got it on the tail end okay. of it, and I think we took the BMO where we launched can, the start of it. Okay. But the beginning of it, he essentially said, "Oh, thank you for taking your health metrics over the course of six months. Uh -huh. I see your sleep quality hasn't been so good because you're at CS." He makes some jokes in there because it's supposed to be light and fun, and then he'll say, "Okay, now you have a BMO right in front of you. Pick up the BMO. We're going to measure your lung sounds, and then." Uh, in the video, we have embedded lung sounds, so as a, a booth visitor, you could understand what a healthy lung sound would sound like, because it's a really a cool sound. Yeah, yeah. Because people are familiar mostly with a heart sound, a heart right. beat, but not necessarily with a lung sound. No, no, I would I would have no idea how it so sounds. So with things from Location Mario Platform, and this is how the BMO measurements that BMO takes would uh, reflect on the Withings RPM interface. Uh, okay. Uh, so you can see you can see symptom logging, medication logging, uh, measurements that were tracked. Here, he's basically saying, okay, put it on your chest in this location because you doctors with their stethoscope they go in different locations. Yes. Yeah. Because they'll hear, I guess, different things in different locations. In your back. In your back too. Exactly. Yeah. And so that, oh, you hear it. Yes, right this now. is the lungs. This is the lungs, yeah. Uh, but I know we. I would never know that's how it sounds. Isn't that? Cool? I mean, it does kind of sound like breathing, it's but like, I've never heard. That's that's. But cool. it's like a really deep sound. Yes. It's cool, right? Yeah. Uh, also, Very cool. Uh, yeah. The metrics are 